Joining us on Valley News Live, the wind continues to blow and we are going to see a little bit of a break in some of the uh, snowfall shower activity as we go through the evening hours. So if you have things you want to get done between now and uh, later this evening, the best time to do that. But we do have covered roads. This is the Bedette area as we showed you moments ago. The visibility here in Bedette has improved over the last hour and a half or so. And same thing with Lake Itasca, although we're still getting periods of snow. You can see here that visibility restricted somewhat by some snow and blowing snow and the road completely covered with snow on US 71. First alert weather day continues today and we're extending it into tomorrow. So we have a smorgasbord of weather conditions to talk about. Here they are. For tonight, the gusts over 40 miles per hour will continue. And in fact, we're expecting rain showers here and there. It's really hit and miss and variety in this warmer air that's punched into the valley. Some of us have temperatures over 40 mile, uh, 40 degrees. Gusts then increase as we go into the overnight and into your Friday morning. And that's going to cause blizzard conditions for uh, us here in the valley. And we're going to have whiteout conditions hit and miss across portions of the uh, areas in northwest Minnesota Friday cold for everyone with dangerous wind chills returning. The heaviest of the snow shipping off into eastern portions of Minnesota tonight. Behind it, there's a break in most of the precipitation. We do have a few showers of rain taking place in this warmer air that has uh, been dragged in on the backside of this system. Still some snow showers in Lakes Country, but the rain showers moving into Grand Forks right now. This could cause some areas of slippery out there. It'll wet the roads again and set the stage for an icy concoction as we go into tomorrow. We still have snow out at Height of Land Lake and in northeastern Becker County right now along and north of Highway 34 out towards Park Rapids. This is moving southeastward, so that road is going to get a coast of some uh, slippery flakes. Here's where the blizzard warning is in effect at 9 o'clock until tomorrow morning where we are going to have the strongest winds. The concern here is going to be the snow that we did get today was fairly minimal and then it could be in some areas glued down by some well warmer temperatures melting it and some rain showers. But nonetheless, with gusts that strong, we're going to have some blizzard like conditions uh, through the Red River Valley counties. Uh, we've been watching since last night this area in northwest Minnesota and Hutch is concerned about this area and the central portions of Minnesota because we got more snow there. We have fluffier snow. You won't get as strong of winds, but we'll still have gusts over 40 miles per hour for much of northwest and north central Minnesota. So blowing snow and we'll call it whiteout conditions will be a possibility, if not a probability, through Friday in northwest and central Minnesota. Your hour by hour forecast shows that tonight's winds south southwesterly or westerly temperatures in the 40s here in the valley. Look in central Minnesota though. Watch this temperatures really never climbed that high there. We might get close to freezing briefly, so the snow you got is going to stay light. It's going to stay fluffy, and if you sneeze, it'll make the visibility drop. So uh, the winds start shifting. They become northerly by tonight. I've paused this at about eight o'clock at night. Hit and miss showers of rain causing some slippery potential on area roads out there. So take it easy. Then watch these north winds as we go into the 10 o'clock hour and beyond. Boom, you get the yellow arrows. This orange that I have painted on here, uh, that is the area where we have the potential for gusts over 40 miles per hour and maybe briefly over 50 miles per hour. It's right here in the valley and into western Minnesota. This is the area with the more abundant snowfall amounts, so we're concerned there too. As temperatures to start your day will be dropping into the single digits, wind chills 20 to 35 below. Temperatures continue to fall as we go through your morning hours and I still think, look at the yellow arrows, north winds gusting over 40 miles per hour at times going to cause areas of blowing snow and very icy conditions on area roads as temperatures will stay near zero and continue to fall into the late day. Finally, afternoon time, we'll start to see the wind speeds taper off. Notice those colors disappear there. The gusty nature of the wind settling down to around 30 miles per hour and we should have some improvement to visibility even more so when we head into the night. But look at these air temperatures falling ridiculously. All right, taking a look at your uh, temperatures now. It looks like uh, we got an instrument problem there. We're missing a couple of numbers, but we do have warm air punching into central Minnesota. Gusts over 50 miles per hour out west heading our way tomorrow in Fargo. Temperatures will be falling off to near zero as we go through the afternoon. Gusty winds over 50 miles per hour in the morning, and we will definitely have temperatures falling to sub zero as we head into your Saturday morning. Great shot, Nate. Thanks for sharing the icy streets of Moorhead at sunrise. Now your planning forecast. The cold weather looks to stick around a little longer than we thought yesterday. 11 below into Sunday morning as well, so a cold weekend ahead. Temperatures do moderate a bit. Tuesday, still the warm day. 27 degrees, another shot of snow next week into Wednesday. Yeah, it feels so good right now. I know the roads are rough, but right. that's going to be not fun going back down. Tonight and tomorrow, it gets pretty tricky out there. All right, thanks, Hutch. Yeah.